Well, guys, this is the time of year when we start to really have to be weather aware because weather can obviously save our life if we know. We're all wondering what's in store for winter. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We've been a bit spoiled so far, but meteorologist Jacob Morris lets us in on what could be on the way. Meteorologists often turn to ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific to determine if an El Nino or a La Nina is present when creating a winter outlook. With a La Nina, stronger than normal winds in this part of the world push warmer waters westward, allowing for cooler waters to come to the surface farther east. Current sea surface temperatures show this region of cooler than normal water, indicating that La Nina will continue for a rare third year. This impacts the jet stream pattern, leading to downstream effects in the United States, generally meaning that the winter will be colder than normal in the northern plains. We see this, this blocking high pressure in the North Pacific. That leads to a more variable polar jet stream, so it, it kind of arcs up into Alaska and then down into Canada and the north central U.S., so it makes it a lot easier for the, that cold air to, to make its way into the north central U.S. Looking back at the only four times a triple dip La Nina has happened in record keeping history, three of the times below normal temperatures were found here during the third La Nina winter. In our past two winters with La Nina present, above normal temperatures were seen two years ago, with the exception of a cold February, and below normal temperatures were mostly experienced last year. Comparison to last winter, I would expect a similar transition temperature-wise, where you know we were pretty mild through the fall, and we've been doing that. Um, and then this transition month during December, before we really settle into that typical North Dakota winter um, January, February, March, and even into, you know, later in the spring, there is a pretty good signal for that cold to, to stay around a lot longer than we would want it to. As for snowfall, the confidence isn't as high as it is for the cold, but there are signals that the La Nina could weaken heading into the spring, which could favor more precipitation and snow in the second half of winter. But it stood out to me that there's enough of a signal in the extended guidance and the typical La Nina patterns. Uh, especially for that weak La Nina, that we could end up with a more active second half of the winter uh, and potentially into the spring season. While La Nina indicates that a cold and possibly snowy winter is ahead, it's important to remember that there are many other factors and connections in other parts of the globe to investigate when creating the overall outlook.